The SAT's built-in Desmos calculator is a powerful tool that makes a lot of questions easier to solve. This lesson covers the regression feature, which quickly finds the equation that matches a set of points. I find that regressions help me on one or two hard questions per SAT. The process for creating regressions involves a little memorization, but it might be worth it to save you time on questions that would otherwise require a lot of algebra. Here's an example of a question that could be solved using a regression. Notice that we are given two points and the outline of an equation with some unknown constants. We can use a regression to plot the points on the xy plane. And then we can tell Desmos to find the line that passes through those points. Desmos will tell us the values of m and b, which allows us to see the entire equation of the line. We can also make regressions for quadratic equations, exponential equations, basically anything where the SAT gives us the structure of the equation and a few points that fit the equation. But to be clear, we would not bother with a regression if the question gave us completed equations in the answer choices. In those cases, we can use the much easier plug points into equation strategy to test the equations using the given points. Regressions are for when we have to build the entire equation from scratch. There are a few steps we need to follow to perform a regression. You need to confidently memorize these steps before the SAT to use regressions effectively. First, add a table to Desmos by clicking the plus button in the top left. In the menu, select table and one will be added. It should look like this. Next, enter the given points in the table. The X values go in the X column and the Y values go in the Y column. The points should appear on the graph. Scroll or zoom to find them if needed. Next, enter the equation that we want to build into a new line. This is the step that requires the most memorization because you'll have to enter the equation in a slightly different way than how it looks in the question. We need to specifically use x1 and y1 because we're telling Desmos to use the points that we entered into the table. Notice that the table columns are also labeled as x1 and y1. There are no special buttons to press. Just type the letter y followed by the number one and Desmos will automatically create a subscript. The same is true of the x. We also need to use a tilde squiggly line in place of the equal sign. You can find the tilde on the top left of most keyboards next to the one key. You can also find it by clicking the keyboard button in the bottom left of Desmos and going to the ABC menu. If we follow these steps correctly, Desmos will graph the equation, which should pass through the points in the table. Let's look more closely at the regression instructions and results. Once we type the correct regression at the top, Desmos will provide the rest of this information. You can ignore the statistics and residuals portions. The R values tell us how accurately the regression fits the points in the table. In pretty much every case on the SAT, the R values should be equal to one. If they're not, you might have mistyped a point or the equation itself. Numbers less than one tell us that our equation does not perfectly fit the given points. So the regression becomes more like an estimate of the equation. We are much more interested in the part that says parameters. This is Desmos telling us the values for the constants in our equation. If we look back at the original question, we see that we were asked for the y-intercept of the line. Hopefully, we've memorized that the b portion of y equals mx plus b gives the y-intercept. Desmos says that b is equal to negative 5. So we're done. The answer to the question is negative 5. Sometimes we need the entire equation, which we also have. Just plug the parameters into the correct spots in the original equation. In this case, the full equation of the line that passes through the points 2, 1 and negative 1, negative 8 is y equals 3x minus 5. We could have found this equation manually without a regression or Desmos by using the slope formula to find m and then plugging points into equations to find the value of b. In this case, the manual solution might actually be faster than creating a regression in Desmos. However, there will definitely be situations where the regression is much faster than manual algebra usually because either the points or the equations are too complicated. As always, Desmos is not a perfect solution to every SAT question. You need to use your judgment to find the most efficient method for solving each question. Performing a Desmos regression requires that you memorize a few steps and a bit of formatting. So make sure that you've already memorized all of the math facts and formulas that you need for the SAT before you worry about learning regressions. Desmos regressions are a low priority in the big picture of the SAT. Still, I find that regressions save me time and frustration on one or two hard questions, so I like having this tool in my SAT strategy toolbox. Hopefully, you find it useful too, and it adds a few extra points to your math score. Thanks for watching.